What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of a Tech once again, and today I just have a real quick video for you guys on how to get the light hash rate lock completely removed from your Hive OS mining rigs. It's pretty simple and straightforward, so we've already covered this before on how to update your NVIDIA drivers, but in this particular case, there's, a, there's an additional versioning that you need to add to it. So we're going to look at that, and then I'm going to show you guys what my light hash rate rig is doing as far as the hash rates go on both ET hash as well as on Ergo. So let's go ahead and hop right into it right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is BT Miners. Purchasing mining equipment online can be dangerous. With all of the fake storefronts and scams, it can be hard to find a reliable source. That's why when BT Miners reached out for a channel sponsorship, I started by verifying that ordering and delivery went smoothly with the purchase of my own. If you are looking to purchase ASICs hardware from Bitcoin to Dogecoin miners, they are available for purchase on bt-miners.com. BT Miners is a trusted source by both asicminervalue.com and CryptoMiner.com. Follow the affiliate link in the description and tell them SOAT sent you to support the channel. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and get into HiveOS. I assume you've gotten logged in and you're ready to go. And as you guys can see here, we actually have my light hash rate rig already mining. And then you can see here on the NVIDIA driver version, it's 520.56.06. And this is going to be the version that you need for this to take effect. So to do that, you're going to need to open essentially a hive shell. We're going to do this on our RTX 3070 rig because this rig does not have the latest version. However, it doesn't need it because they were never light hash rate in the first place. But you can see here it's on 510.60.02. So we're going to go ahead and go through the process. So once you're clicked into the rig, you can go up to the top and find the little button for remote access. Click that and then you can click the hive shell start. You'll start to see three ellipses kind of move here as it's loading the hive shell. And once that's complete, we can move forward. All right, so now that it's complete, we're gonna go ahead and click it. And then you'll be presented with this HSSH start, and then it'll give you the remote link. I would recommend always turning it off just in case once you're complete, but for now, click the link. It's gonna open up a shell session in your web browser and you'll be presented with a command line. Now this command line is the part that we are going to utilize to update the driver and you can right click and say paste from browser. Down in the description below I'll paste the command but the command is basically going to be nvidia-driver-update and then the, that driver version that I showed you guys earlier 520.56.06. We're going to click OK and then we're going to press enter. Now this can take some time and depending on both your internet speed as well as the speed of the processor and the hard drive and the hard drive space, et cetera, that you have running, it could take quite some time. So just be patient with it. It's gonna go through downloading the image, then it's gonna go through running it and then it'll have to add it to, to the DKIM. And then in a lot of cases, you are going to have to reboot the actual machine. It depends. We'll kind of talk about that once the once we go through verifying that it's installed and so on.
So after it adds to DKIM, it'll also do the driver file installation and it'll check the post install and make sure that it's all good to go. And do any reinstallation that needs to be done if there is reinstallation that needs to be done there. But we're near the end here and it'll start the services back up, which is basically the driver services and then we can just make sure that the miner is running again. There's a few caveats here. We are running LOL miner on this rig as well as on the light hash rate rig. The reason for that is because T-Rex miner doesn't currently support the light hash rate unlock in Hive OS. 12.8 will work or if you are going to be stubborn and utilize T-Rex miner, what you'll need to do is come into your T-Rex miner, click setup miner config and go to basically 26.1 or earlier will function with it, but anything newer than 26.1 will cause an error. So if you're getting an error with T-Rex Miner, that's why. LOL Miner, any version will work after you've done the update, so feel free to go ahead and do that. Now, to confirm that you have the new driver installed, you can go back to your rig, and then up here, basically, you will have the driver version and you'll see here on this rig we just got to driver version 520.56.06 so we can confirm that that is correct now as far as hash rates go on some of the light hash rate gpus we've covered the rtx 3050 you can go ahead and check that video out we'll try to link it down in the description but for the rest of these gpus Here's the overclocks and the settings that we have right now. These are running in an Octo Miner at this time. It is a, an Octo Miner X12 Ultra. The core on the 3070 Ti is at 1100 megahertz and the memory is at 2200 megahertz with a power level setting at 220 watts. That is giving us 78.29 mega hash a second on Ethereum. For the RTX 3080, we have 1150 on the core with 2200 megahertz on the memory and 230 on the power level. And that is putting us at 88.71 mega hash a second on ET hash. For the 3080 Ti, we have the core set to 1650 megahertz with the memory at 2200 megahertz and the power level at 235. That is putting us at 117 mega hash a second on ET hash. Finally, we have the RTX 3060. I have not found the core setting for this to give us the best optimal hash rate to power ratio. So I haven't set that quite yet, but it is at 2200 megahertz on the memory and 125 on the power limiter. And that's gonna put you at around 48 mega hash a second on ET hash. Let's go ahead and move it over to Ergo and see what kind of rates we are getting here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and snag this, er that's Ergo Solo, let's check it. No, that's on get block. This should be fine. We'll utilize this one right here. It's gonna be LOL Miner. Let's go ahead and get the Hive Shell started up real quick. All right, so we got Hive Shell started up, or Hive Shell started up. We can see that the miner has started mining on ERG. And we did leave the overclocks alone because for the most part, your Ethereum overclocks and your Ergo overclocks are going to be pretty much identical. It does look like the 3070 Ti is getting a little gimped here, so we might have to play around with it a little bit. I do know that it, there it is. There's that speed, 170. That should be a lot closer to accurate. So let's go ahead and refresh this here. Let's take a look. Not quite ready yet. We'll wait until we get a full report. Okay, so now it looks like everything is reporting the same within the shell as well as within Hive OS. With the same overclocks on ET hash, the RTX 3070 Ti is doing 169.5 mega hash a second at 141 watts. The RTX 3080 is doing 200 mega hash a second at 183 watts. The RTX 3080 Ti is doing 267 mega hash a second at 148 watts. 
And the RTX 3060 is doing 122 mega hash a second at 125 watts. So they probably, we could up the power limiter and get some more hash rate out of that. We will have to play with optimizations on this later on down the line. So there you have it. The light hash rate lock is no more. It's a thing of the past. Now, of course, Hive will need to update their image with the latest driver. If you try to actually just pull an NVIDIA driver update into the latest driver that's available within the Hive packages, you will not get 5.2.0 or even 5.15, which is where this really started within Linux. So unfortunately, you will have to go through this process right now to get it working in Hive OS. If you're on Windows, you can follow what we did over on the previous video for that, which is just going to be downloading the latest driver for Windows. And the light hash rate lock seems to be no more. Of course, there is no more ETH. The amount of money that you can make mining with GPUs is next to nothing, if anything at all, usually at a loss. So, you know, unlocking it at this point makes a little bit of sense, I suppose. Why waste the development time on a lock that people are constantly trying to bypass anyways. The efficiencies do seem to be a little bit better. What we will need to do is load up some older drivers versus some newer drivers and try to run like side by side at some point. I think that'd be a fun comparison, but I bet somebody like Seb's FinTech is already working on that. So pay attention over on his channel. I'm almost guaranteed that we'll see something that, like that from him. So awesome channel as well. I'll shout out Seb's FinTech down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell down below. And I'll see you next Tuesday. For additional content that also goes into more opinionated pieces surrounding the politics around crypto, make sure you check out sonofatech.locals.com. There you can become a member for free or even choose to support for basically additional content at $5 a month. It's helping me stay alive through the crypto winter.